you know, when we looked at the roads by themselves, we were looking at 160 some million dollars. Um, a variety of the water estimates, we've seen so many different scenarios, but that's looking someplace to be roughly equal 150 to 180 million dollars. Um, I think that there's a lot of savings when we do these programs together. Um, so they're not necessarily going to add up to you know, $300 million together because there's so much overlap. Um, so the overlap and doing plans together is going to be one key thing. The important part to do that, though, is where the state is mandating that we do the water so we don't have a choice there, um, it's up to us to come up with the roads plan to dovetail with that. Um, so that's the really important part is working together to make sure that we have a plan um, that all of council is buying into um, to make sure that we get the roads and the water done at the same time. Yeah, so I think that uh, we've already started to work on the comprehensive plan for our streets. Um, there's been two proposals out there. Uh, they're going to be going back in front of voters um, here uh, probably sometime early next year. And uh, we're going to be having a conversation with voters explaining um, what that money uh, is going to be used for, um, the process for fixing the roads, uh, the milling and capping, and what they're going to get uh, for a return on their investment, right? Uh, I think at the same time, we're working on a plan to fix the lead service lines. Um, between both of those, it's uh, upwards of close to near $250 million, right? So you're talking like a problem with the lead service lines and the roads being about a quarter million dollar problem that we have that we're currently not getting any funding from. Well, there's pros and cons on both. Um, on millages, um, they apply, apply evenly uh, and an even percentage of a person's home income across the entire city. Um, special assessments, um, they are so localized that if you specially assess one street on one part of town and everyone pays uh, an equal amount, but if you compare that to a different street on a different side of town, um, those, there's a huge income disparity. Um, charging two people uh, in different homes and different sides of the city the same $10,000 price tag um, is a huge different impact on those families depending on which street we're talking about. I think, uh, I think giving voters more of a choice is always good. Um, I would probably be an advocate for some sort of uh, split between uh, millage and, and assessment um, because there's um, a little bit of uh, more flexibility between the two and uh, we're not uh, looking to increase anyone's millage rate by, um, by, by double in the city, 